Hi everybody, Ben from Geeks, and welcome to The Corruption Within. This is a old school point and click adventure indie game, hopefully with lots of mystery, intrigue, puzzles and crazy characters. I've been looking forward to playing this one for a while now. If you check out the description below you'll find a link to our website which has a full review of The Corruption Within, spoiler free of course, um, because by the time this first video is out we would have beaten the game and written the review and everything else so a bit of wibbly wobbly timey wimey thing going on there but please make sure you check that out and then obviously come back for the rest of the full playthrough so let's get started it's been a wonderful week camping hiking and exploring the countryside with my wife and two children we hadn't been able to afford a holiday while the kids were growing up but finally, between my salary and Steph selling some of her paintings, we'd scrabbled together the funds. With two nights to go, we'd planned to spend the afternoon exploring a section of the forest by the lake we hadn't seen yet. At dusk, I was collecting things together while Steph and the kids answered the call of nature. They didn't come back. I spent hours searching, calling, to no avail. Frantically, I headed towards the only sign of civilization I'd seen. A grand mansion with a mountain behind it and a lake at the front. I'd heard of this new invention called a telephone. Whoever owned the mansion was surely rich enough to own one. Or at least have some horses. I scrambled over old tree roots to get to the mansion. Rumors and superstitions were rife about this part of the country. I put those down to silly old wives' tales designed to scare children. I reluctantly began to wonder if there was some truth to them. Tales of ghosts and fell beasts didn't bother me. I didn't believe in such things. The stories of Edgar Allan Poe were entertaining, but nothing more. It was the evil people were capable of that worried me. I reached the mansion and hoped to find help there. At the very least, someone should be able to aid me in some way. If they couldn't, there was no hope of aid from any other source, unless I found my way back to civilization and the police conducted a full search of the countryside. But it would be too late. This mansion was my only hope. Okay, and here we go. Uh, this is an impressive old building indeed, it must be uh, a rich family that lives here. Even though it's late, there seems to be some lights on, so I guess at least someone is still awake. After a brief moment, a man opened the door. Just what is your business at this ungodly hour, sir? Please, my good man, let me in. My family have gone missing and I need help. Do you have an invitation from a member of the family? What? No, I don't. My family have gone missing and... If you do not have a formal invitation, then I cannot allow you to enter the house. There are no exceptions. I bid you goodbye, sir. Now what am I going to do? A shill scream is heard in the distance. Oh, I'm loving this already. What's that, Steph? I'd better check it out. Scream seems to have come from the southwest. Not knowing where I was heading, but following the sounds of the screams, I ended up somewhere in the forest. Whoa. Then I beheld the sight that made my blood run cold. There was a man hanged from a tree. As I stared at the grisly scene, a young woman approached me. Sir, I, I was sent to find you and give you this invitation. She hands me an invitation card. She's clearly shaken by the sight of the dead man. Does she know him? Uh, give it to the butler and he will let you in. The young lady stares in horror at the hanging man. Do you know who this is? Yes, sir. His name was Paul. He was a footman. I liked him. He was always kind to me and he was quite a dizzy, despite not having much education. Lady Charlotte heard you at the mansion door talking to Giles and told me to come via the servant's door to the forest and find you. She has seen a woman and two children who appear to be lost. So, okay, so this Lady Charlotte's seen our family. But then I saw Paul here. I... We must report this to the authorities. My family, someone has seen my family. She's still staring at the body, unable to tear her eyes away. Shouldn't we cut him down or even bury him? We can't yet. The police will need to see the crime scene without any interference. I, I suppose I need to rush back. I know it seems cold given the circumstances, but I do not wish to receive punishment for failing in my duties. The punishments can be severe. You still have to work at this time. It must be past midnight by now. Uh, the family I work for have unusual habits. Lady Denison suffers with lunacy. Okay. She becomes highly agitated during the full moon and often creates havoc, so the family have to get into the habit of staying up late to deal with her. 
I see. What about my invitation? That's a house rule. Nobody enters without an invitation, even if accompanied by a servant or family member other than Lady Denison himself. I just realised I've been saying Lady Denison and not Lord Denison. Or was it? Have I just got that wrong the first time? Or did I say Lady Denison the first time when it should have been Lord? Please let me know in the comments if I've just messed up. Uh, other than Lord Denison himself, <laughs> he is a law unto himself. I'm sorry, but I really must get back now. Paul, rest in peace. I'll come back to make sure you get a proper burial. The young woman, weeping uncontrollably, runs back towards the mansion. I'm left only with the corpse swinging gently on the rope for company. Oh, listen to that rope sound. Noose is tight around the neck, poor soul. Right, so we're basically going straight into it and um, not time to kind of catch my breath yet. Um, yeah, looking forward to playing this. Uh, and yes, so we've already got a dead body, which I love, straight into it. Uh, looks like he's been here for a long time. Uh, the bluish tint to his skin could not be the result of the cold air alone. It's unnatural, like he had some kind of strange disease or ingested some kind of poison. So, if anyone offers anything to eat or drink, we should refuse it. A uh, few things to bear in mind, this game saves your progress automatically. That's good. Uh, text so you can change the options below. Do you further? Okay. Don't forget to press the space bar or click the middle mouse. Uh, we're left clicking. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Just you right click the mouse button. Uh, to move around the world, click the direction arrows. Okay. Uh, so, middle mouse, an invitation to the mansion. Not sure what the wheelbarrow has been used for, but it's dark red staining inside. I fear gardening was not its only use. Instead uh, looking shed door. The happy days we spent hiking those mountains already seems so long ago. Right, so obviously we're not present day, because um, we mentioned about all the new invention of a telephone. Um, which I do like. That looks like it's an Ent from Lord of the Rings, like it's moving the trees like walking. Which is probably just me. Purple plant. This purple plant is everywhere. I wish my employment left me time enough to study such things. What? Oh, no way. That is awesome. Uh, just, you know, despite the situation, you find yourself fascinated by the plant and think about taking a sample. Don't take a plant. You take a plant home to put it in your garden. Take a plant home to keep as a house plant. Take a more botanical. Yeah, okay. Your decision has been recorded. Okay. Uh, deep part of the lake from here. Can't make out any details. Okay, so. Right, we can't explore yet, so he wants us to go straight to the house. Uh, yeah, okay. So now we have an invitation. So, this is Giles. Is that right, the footman? Or is that Paul the footman? He's Giles the butler. Uh, other Lady Charlotte. Oh, so, there's Lady Charlotte and Lord Denison so far that we've had heard the names of. Although Lady Charlotte does the most extraordinary things at times, I'm not going to simply take your word for it. You'll have to provide proof. Here's my proof. Suck it. I see. This appears to be in order. I'm not aware that Lady Charlotte has left the house tonight, so I suppose she sent a servant to do her bidding. Do come in, sir. I shall take you through to the lounge and fetch her ladyship. Oh, look at that. Oh, listen to that music. Oh, that's lovely. A little hopscord. Is it a hopscord? I think so. A nice crackling fire. Uh, please wait here while I fetch Lady Charlotte. That's not creepy. Now I'm getting carry on screaming vibes. You may leave us now, Giles. Very good, my lady. Lady Charlotte studies me keenly before speaking. Oh, good lord. Hello. Uh, I see you got my invitation. Jolly good. Thank you for your kindness and hospitality, madam. Of course, of course. Do you happen to know something about of my family's uh, whereabouts? My wife and two young children, one boy and one girl. Oh, did I see them? Hmm, I think maybe I did. But she said she did, and that's why she sent the servant out. Or she's just trapping us and luring us into the house. You mean you don't know whether you saw them? Oh yes, now that I think of it, I did. So where are they? Patience, my good man. 
patients, I'm desperate to find them. I'm feeling woozy, I need to go lie down. You may search the mansion if you like. I have nothing to hide, or perhaps I do have something to hide, but I want you to find it. Okay. Fair enough. I don't remember when or where I saw them. It's not been feeling myself lately. A loud bang followed by a low... Okay, I don't like that in my surround sound headphones. It's heard from the east. Did you hear that? Your imagination is getting the better of you. This old house is full of strange sounds. There was no random creak created by the wind in an old house. That was someone in pain. Oh dear heart, are you a writer? You have the most vivid imaginings. As for me, I need to rest. I shall see you later, no doubt. I'm sure I heard something and I'm sure people around here know more than they're letting on. Time to investigate. I must give tired emotions and remain as directed to care my family's future depends on it. Ah, oh, okay. I'll pay to the latest this mansion, I think. Probably a local artist rather than a famous one. Uh, like an artist rather ominous. Okay. Drink cabinets well stocked. That's what I like to hear. Different vintages. One of those newfangled gramophones. So we are really kind of old timey. Interesting. Ooh, that's haunting. Oh, cool, we can change. Okay. A wrong fire heats the room. There's nothing quite a log fire. It looks comfy, but I don't the colour. What a wonderful sofa. I wish I could afford something like this. So, uh, obviously, we've found out in the introduction that we, you know, couldn't afford a holiday until recently, so you know we're not the richest of people. Oh, okay. Click something again. I found a coin down the back of the sofa. What a stroke of good fortune! Since Lady Charlotte was so unhelpful, I think I'll keep this as I suspect to be more than she was. Okay, just checking all the sofas, settees. Okay. A rather strange painting of a man, which I believe to be a new funk style called Impressionism. Was that a bat? Brass plate bearing the message, a gift from the Earl of Sussex. It's held in place by four screws. So we need a screwdriver then to unscrew that, I think. Grandfather Clark always in elegance in the foyer. Personally, I prefer the casing to be stained or varnished rather than painted. Floor has been well chosen to for the colours. Can we go upstairs? No. I'm sorry, sir, but yeah, okay. So we can go anywhere in the house <sighs> apart from upstairs. Oh, hello. So that's not Lady Charlotte, that's someone new. I'm afraid not, I'm a visitor looking for my wife and children who have gone missing. I'm so sorry, I have lost children myself. I hoped Charlotte had come to play the piano so I could accompany her on the harp. It calms me somewhat. Lady, I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, it, um, Isabel. I was going to say, is this Lady Denison? But again, I can't remember if I misread if it was Lady and Lord and Lady Denison, or if it was just Lord Denison. Um, but, well, she's Isabel. I'm Samuel. That's my middle name. Um, Samuel Taylor. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. Charlotte, is she here? I hope to play on the harp. Is this the one who's got the lunacy, do we think? So she's a bit forgetful. Okay, and like that, she was gone. Okay, bit of an odd fish, fair enough. A uh, tiny plaque of painting called the Purple Rose. We've got a single three penny. Well, I thought we'd have a flower in here, because we picked up a flower, didn't we? And I wonder if that was purple, if that was going to be something to do with that. Well, maybe not. Creepy. Doctor Who Blink esque statue. How to find out? Oh God, I hope it's not a man inside that. Uh, but it's not one I recognise. Maybe someone local, or even a family member. So, a lot of local art in this place. Uh, grand piano sits at one side of the room. 
Can we play it? Okay, no, we shouldn't. So we need some sheet music and we need a screwdriver. Well, this looks nice and cosy. Uh, children's books. The Princess and the Goblin by George MacDonald. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. Nice. Okay, just depressing herself. I suppose I can do with Dickens, Zachary Thorop, and Bronte Sisters. Oh, please, can we pick up this oil lamp? Okay, so we need a reason to use the lamp. Billiards. Nothing behind these sofas. Uh, oh, the statues, I thought. <laughs> okay, I can hear the clock strike one. Didn't know what I'd walked into just then. It's like she's eating pizza. Um, okay, I'm guessing they're just like bronze statues. Yeah, Greek mythology, okay. Ah, water nymphs, cluster of grapes. It's cold, it's clear whatever fire normally heats this is not burning right now. That's understandable given that it's the middle of the night, though I'm starting to feel that nothing would surprise me in this place. Uh, stone pillar, is that got off with some ropes? It's garden hose. I've taken the rubber hose, so I could use it as a snorkel in the pool. Yeah, fair enough. Um, oh, and that just takes us back into the living room. Okay, we could do some chatting, that's good. Uh, so you're the butler, what's your name? I am indeed, sir. have been for many years now. I go by the name of Giles. I didn't know butlers were allowed to drink while on duty, but I could smell whiskey on his breath. Okay, so could we bribe him with a drink, perhaps, do we think? Uh, a little more than two score years. I started out as a stable boy, would you believe, back then when the family still had horses. Of course, I was a mere wee lad back then. I'm going to say, are you Scottish? You caught the twang, did you? The answer is yes, but barely. I was a wee bairn when I came to England, and I rarely see my Scottish kin every now and then. Oh, the language slips out, though. Do we have a telephone or horses? Alas, no, we have no real means of communication with the outside world. The family likes being in seclusion. We did have horses, but not for some years now. Uh, I do not. Shame to have yet another death. Ooh, okay, so this is not the first person to die. Seems it's the most unfortunate place, sir. Many deaths over the last few years. Or maybe suspected deaths is a better expression. Possibly the dis just disappearances. I mean, who really knows? Okay, no, nothing at all, and that's... Okay, so he's not going to be very helpful. But yeah, clearly getting the uh, shady vibes off this dude. Let's ask about our family. If not, someone else could have let them in, I suppose, but I find it extremely unlikely with the few staff we have available. It's not like anyone is looking for extra work. Um, I should go back and mention earlier. I didn't explore the area outside. I should scout the clues. Yeah, I thought so. Water over there looks extremely deep if it contains any secrets. Okay, pillars, uh, runes, I'm not sure what language they are. I was just going to make you sure feel easy here. Shouldn't be there. Creepy tree. Anchored by street root system. Is that uh, anchored as in, are we going to have to go dive in, tie a rope to the tree, tree anchor it to the tree, do you think? Uh, to find gravity of the surface of the water, the ground rises and falls sharply around it, leaving just enough for the rock to sit on. Struck a piece of been placed here, I can't be sure entirely. So a lot of rocks. Possible effect to be deliberate. Okay. So we've got a full moon. So beautiful, I wish there was more. Yeah. Can't really enjoy it when our family's missing. Okay, so we can actually go back. Oh, well, so we're here. Right. Oh, so that takes us there. Okay. 
the door won't budge, more like Ravinches is in just for spanner. Ah, so we've got the spanner, garden hose, and a coin. Do you think we'll use the spanner to open the clock? So it looks like we can't really do anything with the body. We've done the plan. Oh, what was that? Right, watch there. I swear down something glimmered. Come on. There. No, I think that's something we need to get to. Uh, this wagon is strange size. It looks a little small for a horse, but large for a human to pull. Uh, but I'm sure if I had a good enough reason, I could move it easily enough. Perhaps it was designed for small animals like ponies to pull. So we need a reason to pull the wagon. Ooh, we've got a house. Again, this purple plant. Oh, we've got the screwdriver. Nice. The door looks to be the city's part of the building. Everything else looks like it may fall apart at a moment's notice. Uh, roof looks like it's seen better days. There's no point in trying to get in this place. It's clearly been abandoned for several years, and I can see the indication there. Okay. I've got some stables. But obviously there's no horses anymore. Spell the apart from the ashes, there's also some horse bones. Looks like oh no. That's sad. I wonder if now Alright, I was thinking that would allow us to go get the um the lantern. Um, all right, but how, <sighs> like, I don't think we're going to be allowed to do this in front of him. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait, we can go this side. Okay. Right. So we've seen that. We've seen that pillar. Perhaps an indication that may have. Okay, so I think that's going to be important. Uh, landscape oil painting adorns the wall from the local area. Stay at the top of the stairs. Right, because I've got surround sound headphones on, it probably won't come across on YouTube or whatever, but that was like right behind me, that exhale of air, and it just sent a. Ch chill down my entire body. Did not like that. <laughs> oh, we've seen her. We spoke to her. Uh, but before we do, there's a bottle of whiskey. Can we grab that? No. Okay. Oven with gas cooker. Bell looks fit. Wonder if it's normal folk. Uh, parts... Alright, let's go. Oh, oh, okay. Um, we've got two new people. Uh, right, speak to this one first. Hello to you two. I'm Francesca, the kitchen maid and parlour maid too, since we hardly have any maids left. Okay, so Francesca. You in the forest? Yep, so she's the one who gave us the invitation. I was told to go find you, say, it wasn't my idea. I do what I'm told. Obedience sometimes rewarded, but disobedience is always punished. What did... I mean, dare we ask what happened to the other maids? I was told they all went away for personal reasons, but I fear something terrible happened to them. People act in strange, terrible noises at night. I can't say nothing more, sir. They've always been eccentric, but kind, sir. Though in recent years, there's more eccentricity and less kindness. So she's worked with them for 17 years, brought here when she was 10. An orphan. 
dead foreign parents living on the streets of London until Lady Isabel was kind enough to bring me here. I like Molly and Gary. I steer clear of Giles when he's on the pole. He can get a bit handsy, if you know what I mean. Penelope, poor thing, completely lost her mind when the children died. Wait, I thought the woman who said she lost her kids was name was Isabel. Molly, I don't think we've met. And we've not met another bloke, so we don't know Gary. Because Paul's the one who's died. A lot of names. I need to be writing these down. Right, so can we have this whiskey? Uh, give him some kindness, you ain't having it for nothing. We've got the coin. Might be sniffed like a, yes, there we go. Uh, fell creatures roam in this part of the country. Not that I've ever seen, sir, though I've heard terrible noises. I mean, I have, just breathing down my neck. Howling of anguish seems to me... I, right, we've had, like, kind of... Like the full moon and this girl. Could it be werewolf? I mean, I know it's not supposed to be like this game's so more of a thriller than a horror. But maybe that's just like kind of maybe like a Hound of the Baskerville style thing. It's implied that it's a beast, but it's uh, something more of this world. Uh, it tells me they are human. Okay. Yeah, so. Keep yourself to yourself, keep your mouth shut, or you go missing, basically. Right, so now we can get past Giles. So let's... Did we click on that? It's crockery nut. Running water is just keep everything clean. Just got some pans. Uh, okay, let's see who you are then. Begging your pardon, Lordship. I'm I'm not going to do any accents in this because I can barely like speak, let alone try and do accents. Uh, begging your pardon, Lordship. I'm Molly. Okay, so this is Molly, and we've still got Gary to meet. I think. Uh, so she's a scullery maid. Uh, they clean the bed chambers too. Since it was a chat, so they seem to kind of arrive as children because it was obviously. Giles was a stable boy, and then we've had the orphan. So it's like all the people are brought here with like no parents. So I wonder what that's happening to our kids, do we think? Uh, I'm not too certain of my age when I was brought here. I don't remember my parents very much, but Lord and, ah, so Lord and Lady Denison. So I don't think I misread earlier, hopefully. Uh, we're kind enough to take me in and give me a job, food and lodgings. Uh, please don't ask me such things, your lordship. Would no harm without the family's kindness, but no, please ask me this. Uh, I mean, I don't want to keep pushing her. Too scared to say. I'm losing their job. Okay. Uh, I mean, we know there's no telephone or horses, but Giles could have been lying to us. This doesn't say I have not, your lordship. A dead man in the forest, how terrible, but I know nothing. Right, so yeah, okay. Um, Alright, let's get rid of Giles. Now, do we have to talk to him, or can we just point and click on him? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, there we go. Okay, now hopefully that's loosened his lips. So he's not going to details for Lady Nissen in particular. Poor Jason, the groom, the jack, the stable. So we we've seen the stable, so we know there was a fire. Jack, the stable, I lost their lives trying to see the horses. That's terrible. She and Jason were having collie shangles again. Okay, uh, they got a lot of us at the Empire, and things got out of hand. A lamp knocked over the family, hushed it all up, of course. Oh, she argues with everyone. She has a, to put it politely, touch of lunacy about her. It's been getting worse these last few years. She's mostly stays in her bedroom now. Everyone's happier that way. I wonder if it's her we can hear. A very old building built on the ancient ruins of a Roman villa. So we need to speak to Lord Denison to find out more, I think. 
Noble heritage dating back to Edward III's reign and have lived here since Charles I was on the throne. The current Lord and Lady are very traditional in their views, other family members are less so. What can I say? It's about the staff. Uh, what can I say? Gary is amiable but dim. Francesca is doing her best to be a cook. Molly is a sweet girl who deserves better than this place. And Penelope lost her mind when the children died. Right, so Penelope and Isabel are going to be different people. Right? You have 20 staff. Many have died and not been replaced. Jesus. And just like that, he is gone. Right, I'm going to leave it here for part one. And when we come back, we're going to open up this bad boy of the grandfather clock. Um, yeah, um, it's teasing the mystery. I'm liking it. There's a lot of characters. There's a lot of people not telling us a lot of things that they know. Um, so I'm very excited to find out more. So please leave your comments below what you think of the game so far. And also please remember to like and subscribe. Oh, we're just getting started. We'll see you next time.